So the Home application is one of those apps that's fairly easy to use, and if you're brand new to the Home app, you should have a basic understanding of how to use it by the end of this video. Now the Home app looks basically like this, so you should be able to see it within your app screen, your home panel, your app library. All you have to do is open up the application, and then you'll come into this page. Now the Home app basically is pretty basic to kind of understand. So you can see at the very top and basically throughout, we have a couple of different layouts, and at the bottom we have three different toggles. Now at the very top right of your particular home application, you'll see a plus button. And this plus button allows you to add home, you know, pods, you know, other accessories, Apple TVs, so many other things across the board that you can basically monitor through here. So you can click on add accessory if you have a brand new home pod or something that you want to go and set up, and you can go and set it up via this particular panel. So you can scan your QR code or whatever you have. Now, if you want to go ahead and add a room, you can go and come here and add a room as well. If you have a different accessory for a different room, you can go and add that here. And then you can go and click here and click add new home if you have you know, multiple different homes. You can add that here too. Now, you have the three dots in the top right corner as well. And right here, you have home settings. So here, you can go and change the name of your current home that you're associated with, your Apple ID. So if you have different people associated with your Apple ID, you can add different people to your home panel as here, just like so. Clicking back, you can see we have our you know, specific mode that we're in, so we can add our energy portion or whatever we have. You can go and show the suggested screens or suggested scenes that you have. And you can go and edit up your home you know, wallpaper here, and you can even remove the home towards the bottom. When we click Done, we'll come back home. Now, at the middle panel, we have just different types of accessories and things that we have associated with our home application. So you can see we don't even have anything associated right now. But if we did, we can go and you know, monitor them and edit them and control them via this home application. Now, like I said at the very top right, you can go and click here and click Add you know, Accessory. You can also do that at the bottom. You can just tap on this Add Accessory panel here. And like I said, if you have different types of accessories or things across the board, you can go and add that via this panel as well. Now, at the very bottom, there's three different tabs. So you have Home, which will always take you back to this Home tab. You have Automation, which will go and allow you to create automation specifically for your you know, devices that you have associated with your home application. So you can see it says, have your accessories react to changes at home. So it says, make Apple TV. So I mean, you can add any type of automation that you want to do here. But that is another option that you essentially have in this particular panel as well. And at the very end site, you have Discover. So this will allow you to go ahead and kind of see new things that's going on within the home application. So it says, explore features and accessories that add more comfort, convenience, and security to your home. So here's just a bunch of different tabs that you can kind of go through. So if you click on getting started, it will go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use your home app a little bit further, depending on which accessory that you have associated with your particular home you know, application. Always tap on the X button up there to get out of it. You have your home hub, you have lighting, you have security, you have a lot of different things where you can essentially learn more about your particular home, you know, your, your home application. Now, depending on which home app, you know, which home device you have, so you can either have HomePods, Apple TVs, and even this, you know, speakers and so many things across the board that are associated with this. And there are a lot of different things you can do that are, you know, along the same lines as this that you can add within this app. So you can see right here, there's a bunch of different things associated with it. There's, you know, cameras, there's plugs, there's a lot of things across the board you can kind of get associated with it. So at a high level, that is kind of how you go ahead and use your home application. A big thing you want to do if you ever want to update the home app, you can always update your iPhone by going into your settings application. You can scroll down into general, click on software update, then update your iPhone this way. You can also re-download the home app if you ever delete it by coming back into your app store just like so, typing in home just like this, finding the home app, and you can also reinstall it this way and kind of get an idea on exactly what's going on within this particular application here too. So that's essentially how you can use it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.